Item number SCP-1026 Object Class Safe Update Euclid See Addendum 1026-1 Special Containment Procedures SCP-1026 is contained within an 8 meter by 8 meter unfurnished room. Personnel are advised not to enter SCP-1026's containment cell without supervision from an external observer. Update SCP-1026 is contained within a reinforced cell in Sector Beep. Under no circumstances are any personnel to enter the containment area. All observation will be done remotely through security cameras with a broadcast delay of no less than 13.6 seconds. No cure is necessary. SCP-1026 has no apparent need for food, water, or sleep. Description SCP-1026 is an entity that produces a powerful mental effect on any human observer who views it directly. This effect causes observers to become completely convinced that SCP-1026 is someone who they know and trust, typically a family member or close friend. There is currently no known way to convince the observer otherwise. This effect will continue for approximately one hour after they are removed from SCP-1026's presence. Subjects that lack any close relationships, such as sociopaths, appear to be unable to see SCP-1026 and refuse to acknowledge its existence. This effect is present even when viewed indirectly, such as through camera feeds, although this effect can be mitigated by the presence of a long enough broadcast delay. Testing has revealed that a minimum of 13.6 seconds is required to neutralize SCP-1026's effect. When viewed in such a manner, or through other media, such as photographs, SCP-1026 appears as a blurry, roughly humanoid entity. It appears to flicker rapidly, changing height, shape, and color. SCP-1026 seems to be capable of speech. However, this speech sounds extremely garbled and distorted to those not under its anomalous effects. Those who are under its effects perceive it as perfectly normal human speech appropriate for the given situation. SCP-1026 has also displayed reasoning and problem-solving abilities on par with those of a human, as well as a fairly docile temperament. Update. See Addendum 1026-1. Addendum 1026-1. The following log is an account of a test to determine the exact nature of SCP-1026's abilities performed just prior to Incident 1026-1. On beep, D-5582 was told to enter the testing area and perform a series of experiments to gather information about SCP-1026's physiology. Dr. Beep oversaw the test and communicated with D-5582 through a speaker. Begin log. D-5582 enters test chamber carrying video camera. What the hell? There's someone else in here. Yes, there is. Please proceed. Oh my... Mum? That's my friggin' mother, you bastard! What the hell is this? That is not your mother. Please proceed with the test. Don't worry, Mum. I'm gonna get us out of here. Let her out now! That is not your mother. Please proceed with her. Screw the test! I'm not doing anything until you tell me what the hell's going on! I don't know, Mum. That's what I'm trying to find out. D-5582 throws a piece of equipment at speaker. Misses. Screw you! Screw you all! <laughs> D-5582, the test is now terminated. Please leave the chamber. SCP-1026 begins to move toward D-5582. I'm not leaving my mother. If you do not vacate the test chamber, I will be forced to call security. SCP-1026 is now standing behind D-5582. I'm going to tell you one last time. SCP-1026 appears to grab D-5582's shoulders, spin him around, 
and stare at his face. Uh, I need a security team down here now! D-5582 begins to finally convulse, and his body begins to flicker in a manner similar to that of SCP-1026. Oh, Jesus! There's two of them! SCP-1026 and D-5582 move towards test chamber door as security team enters. End log! After the above log was created, SCP-1026 and D-5582 broke containment. Displaying unusually aggressive behavior, they proceeded to kill beat members of the security team and wound beat more. The security teams found it very difficult to respond due to SCP-1026's mental effect. Although one of the entities now assigned to the designation of SCP-1026-A was lured into a temporary holding cell and recontained, the whereabouts of SCP-1026-B are unknown. Update. See Addendum 1026-2. Note. Crap. These things can be produced. There's more of them out there. We could have a serious problem on our hands. Dr. Beep. Addendum 1026-2. On Beep, SCP-1026-B was located two miles from Sector Beep, where SCP-1026-A was currently being held. How it managed to cover the distance between the original facility and Sector Beep is currently unknown. A security team was dispatched to contain it. Data expunged, resulting in the accidental neutralization of SCP-1026-B. Dr. Beep performed an autopsy of the entity on Beep. See document 1026-B. Autopsy report of SCP-1026-B. After the accidental neutralization of SCP-1026-B, its body seemingly lost its anomalous properties, appearing to be a normal human cadaver identified as D-5582. Dr. Beep requested permission to perform an autopsy on the entity. The following report is an audio log recorded during the autopsy. Begin log! The date is Beep. This is Dr. Beep performing an autopsy on the body of SCP-1026-B, which was killed later expunged. I will begin by making an incision in the subject's abdomen. I have just completed the first incision into the subject's abdomen. I can see no internal organs aside from the single large sac attached to the subject's vertebra. I am attempting to open it. The sac is full of Fog, for lack of a better word. It appears to be much denser than air, as it's not flowing upwards. I'm taking a sample of it for later analyses. I am now attempting to open the subject's thoracic cavity. Subject does not appear to possess a normal thoracic cage. Instead, there are two curved plates attached to the spinal column in its place. There appears to be a pair of organs beneath these. I will attempt to remove them. The organs appear to be solid. I see no sign of any fluid or gas inside. I am taking a sample for later analyses, and will then attempt to examine the skull. The skull appears to be abnormally smooth. Cranial sutures are absent, as is the nasal cavity and most other topological features. The eye sockets are present but lack optical canals or orbital fissures. The jaw appears to be fused to the rest of the skull and there are no teeth. I'm going to attempt to access the brain cavity now. The brain is entirely absent. The interior of the skull seems to be full of fog similar to that found in the abdominal organ. I'm going to take another sample. Sorry about that. When I attempted to take a sample, the fog began glowing. I'm going to try again. Just a minute. I got a headache all of a sudden. Jesus Christ, this hurts. What the... End log. The log was ended 
due to an unexpected loss of power in the autopsy room. When the security team entered, they saw no sign that an autopsy had taken place. SCP-1026-B's body was intact, and Dr. Beep claimed to have no memory of what had happened. A subsequent autopsy revealed that SCP-1026-B possessed normal human physiology and no anomalous properties whatsoever.